Good morning, crafty friends. It's Sue, your not-so-crafty crafter. Um, here today with a little bit of a Hobby Lobby haul, and then I stopped at um, Barnes & Noble earlier this week on the way home from a doctor's appointment, so I'll share what I picked up there. Kind of cold. Also, at the end of this video, I will have an announcement. So, kind of excited. All righty. Um, I've been watching a few videos this week to de-stress. You know how life is. Um, and I saw a few people that I watch regularly posting more Hobby Lobby clearance items. And I thought, hmm. So I had to do some groceries yesterday, so I ran into town. And my Hobby Lobby did have the stickers. Apparently they're doing stickers and paper this week. <clears throat> My store did not do the paper yet, um, and I'm not sure based on my announcement that I'm going to make that I'm going to grab any of that paper when it goes on sale. We'll wait and see. So, anyway, I've got uh, picked up these. It's all the Paper Studio stuff, I believe, is what I have here. Um, these are the dimensional stickers. You can see there's some dimension there. I'm going to stand up so I make sure this is in frame messing with my camera and I've got my zoom a little bit different so yeah there's these these have some gold foiling on them they're really pretty and then this is another one wedding themed really cute this is kind of country themed and I'm thinking this would go really nicely I think these are made more for scrapbooking but I'm going to incorporate them into a couple cards but I think this one specifically um, if you remember a haul a few videos back, actually, um, Hobby Lobby had that wood grain, almost looked like paneling or something, pack on sale. Um, and it was a thicker, heavyweight cardstock. I think this would be perfect on that. And then there's this one. Um, I wish they had titles on these, but they don't. These have like 16. This one has 16 pieces. The other two only have seven. This one has 16 pieces. But I'm thinking I can do Valentine's, anniversary, any love theme type of thing there. So there's those. I had to find something to put those in. Okay, next one thing that I saw, they on my store had a lot of, so I grabbed a lot of them, were these die cut stickers. These are by Stick Stickabilities. They're also Paper Studios. All $1.24. Um, I'm not going to open any of them. There's two sealed packages. Um, I'm thinking this one is like a summer theme. These are the stickers that are on the back of it. Eight designs, three of each. So there's 24 in here. So one, they're bigger, so they'll take up more of a, a card base. But I'm thinking also for mini slim lines. Those would be awesome. So there's that one. This one is... Uh, like a birthday themed again two sealed packages and also eight designs three of each look at that balloon that um balloon animal balloon doggy why do they always make them look like poodles when balloons don't have that kind of dimension on their fur <laughs> cakes cake pops balloons banners and it says let's party you can even do that on the front of an invitation those are cool <clears throat> then there's this one chase rainbows and this is definitely a baby themed which is cool because i don't have a lot of baby themed stuff for a dollar 24 i'm okay with that little panda the bunnies very cute they had one for boy and one for girl so i got one of each and the uh, designs are basically the same just pink and they had this one this one I think is a holiday themed yeah uh, they say these are stickers but I guess they, the back peels off so but this one is holiday themed so the different holidays and seasons Valentine's St. Patrick Easter and 4th of July so that's kind of cool. That's 12 designs, two of each. So you still get 24, but you get more options. So that's kind of cool. And then they had this one, well, again, wedding themed. 
And they had a few of them, so I grabbed two. Um, <clears throat> and those are very definitely wedding themed. Very cute. <laughs> and then they had, they had Dollar Tree too, or Dollar 25 Tree. Um, the sticker books. Um, I did buy myself another planner last week when they were on sale for the school year. So um, I'll go do a quick flip through of these. This one, these two are um, smaller. They were $10.99, so originally $2.74. And these are more of paper. <laughs> Um, and there's uh, tags and banners. Kind of cute. I do like to use these in my planner. I just don't always have time. So, might need to make time. Uh, washi stickers. Tabs, tags, more washi, fun stuff. Those look like they can be colored in. I also like to use these with my student. She loves stickers. She loves to decorate her notebooks and stuff. So I'll bring a sheet in when she has a good day and let her do her thing. Um, that'll have to wait till next year. These are all, this looks like it's all everyday borders. Okay, that one has a title on it. That's interesting. Just Have Fun was the first one. This is everyday borders. Yeah, see, these don't have anything on them. Okay, just checking. Still working on my first few sips of coffee, so. Um, these are nicer. They're a little bit bigger. And these I put around my room to decorate as well. Like, I bought one a couple of years ago. I have a white vest cog, and it's got all this kind of clear stickers on it. Seize the day, create, all kinds of fun stuff. And then this one has a lot of these washi strips. More stickers. Do a little good every day. These are a lot of motivational, just can't stop me, this is everything, make things happen, making big stuff happen, do a little good every day. Fun stuff. Oh, what's this say? Not today, Monday, not today. I could have used that one on Friday, actually. <laughs> and then there was this bigger one. These are Everyday Borders foiled 30 sheets, so there's almost 700 pieces here. And it's the same kind of thing. It's just more of them. Not today, Monday. And then, again, it's very similar. But it looks like there's two of every sheet in here. Yeah. So, kind of cool. Oh, look at those flamingos. If you know anything about me, you know I love my flamingos. Just can't stop me. Live for today. Do a little good every day. Yeah, a lot of the repeats on that smaller one. It's the same thing. I didn't realize that when I bought it, but that's okay because this has more of the washi and I do like to use the washi. Then my next stop was $1.25 tree. And I went ahead and I picked up some dimensionals. I don't have a lot of stuff like this. I have foam tape. I have red line tape. I have score tape. I have tape runners. I have painter's tape. And I have the foam strips that are good for 
shakers. And I have some of this kind of tape, which is good. It works. But I didn't. Have, I don't have a lot of dimensionals, so I pop, got these pop dots, 384 pieces. So there's two sheets. Then I got the bigger ones. Oh no, that's not. That. I got the bigger ones. These are round. And these are square, so just based on the size, like I can use a whole line of these to power, or like a half a line to pop up the sentiment. And then I got these, these are glue dots, adhesive dots, glue dots, whatever you want to call them. I don't have any of these, so I grabbed those. And then last but not least, on our journey to Des Moines, after we had our doc my husband's doctor appointment, went to Barnes & Noble. I had seen this the last time I went and I didn't, I had other things I wanted to get, including actual books to read. So I didn't pick it up, but they still had issues of it. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It was $19.99, but I'm a Barnes & Noble Rewards member because I do shop there enough times, like maybe six times out of the year that it's worth it to save, you know, 10 or 20%. So I've got this called the Year Cards. It is based out of the UK. Um, but the cards are done by season. And they give all the directions. Um, and they do other things besides cars. There's a cake box. There's gift bags. There's all kinds of fun stuff and projects in here. Um, I'll do this to friends, uh, and a lot of stuff, of course, is craftstash.co.uk. I don't know that I would order out of here because it would take forever to get it here, but there are a few U.S. <clears throat> sites, or dot com sites here as well, but lots of fun stuff. Oh, I just saw something in here. Oh, I guess I, I guess my, I saw 3D. I thought it said something else. Different kinds of party favors, all kinds of cool stuff. So I guess it was worth the $29 because I can use it as a reference. There's a lot of ads, that's for sure. But then there's a whole section here in the middle with some paper. It's not cardstock. It is paper, but it's a little bit thicker than copier paper. So that's kind of cool. And it coordinates with each other. See? Really pretty. Pretty stuff. Good for backgrounds. Definitely wouldn't use glue on this. I would use um, tape. And then there are things here that, you know... are available in the States, of course, you know, your Tim Holtz products, Ranger products. So, but see how it's based on holidays and themes, Christmas cards, <coughs> there's mixed media, there's birthday and Easter. Um, stretch your stash. So, uh, to me, it's going to be a good resource. So, uh, um, and it's called a year card. So, so big announcement. Um, I have signed up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I did this last night. I've been thinking about it. I was a rep for about a year back in 2016, I believe. Um, I didn't do a lot with it. Um, I'm not going to go into the whys. Um, but I have found a rep here locally. She's just a town over. Um, I went to one of her classes earlier this year. And she did an amazing job teaching her class. And watching her, I thought, I can do this. Especially in the summer. You know, on an, an evening with some of my teacher friends or you know, girlfriends or whatever. I can find a place here in town, set up a table, and craft away. 
Um, so I think I'm going to try to do that. I need to have another income stream coming in because y'all know what I know. The gas prices and the food prices, it's unbelievable. And my son has a new health concern and diet is going to be everything for him. And being on the spectrum, food choices for him are limited, not because he doesn't have access to it. He does, but he's got what's called sensory processing disorder and certain textures, certain strong flavors, certain smells. I mean, it goes beyond that. It's noises, crowds, all of that kind of stuff. Um, for a very long time as a small child, he lived on a, a circle of like four or five different foods. His doctor was fine with that because they were all good, healthy foods. But as he's gotten older, those foods have grown a little bit bigger, but still not big enough that, you know, working around a, a specific type of diet is going to be hard. Um, he's a chicken kid, like most kids on the spectrum. Um, he will eat all kinds of meat. That's a good thing. He's not just chicken nuggets anymore. He used to be, and it had to be a specific kind and a specific shape. And yeah, I'm so glad those days are over. But my heart goes out to everyone else that deals with it because I understand completely. Um, but he still likes his chicken nuggets. And the brand I usually buy... I buy a four pound bag of Tyson chicken nuggets. When they first came out several years ago, the bigger bag, they've always had Tyson, but the really big bag, I was like, oh my God, I don't have to go to the store every two days to buy more nuggets. Um, and they were like $11.99 or $11.97 or something a bag. And I would buy one bag and they last about five days. <clears throat> Price dropped maybe three years ago, four years ago down to $9.97 a bag. And when that first happened, I thought maybe it was just a sale. So I would buy two bags a week just so I could have them in my freezer. And they've been that price since. And even like two weeks ago, we went and bought a bag. Yesterday, I went to get some $14.92 for the same bag. So they've trumped $5 for a bag of chicken tenders. I know there was no chicken on the shelf, which was kind of scary. They had one. I like to buy the IQF for my husband and I and stick them in the oven or even in like our George Foreman type grill. And you can do them straight from frozen. Takes a little longer, but I don't have to worry about thawing out time. They're also good for using in the crock pot when you do like your shredded chicken or your um, enchil chicken for enchiladas and that kind of stuff. They had none in the, like the three and a half or the five and a half pound bags. They had one section with, I think, I want to say it was a 16 pound bag. It was 60 some dollars. And I said, no, thank you. Because even at $3 a pound, it's only $45. So that was $4 a pound for frozen chicken, which usually isn't the best or most flavorable anyway. All right, anyway, I'm ram rambling. But um, yes, I signed up to be a Stampin' Up rep. Sorry, guys. Um, I am wanting to do classes. Um, I'm not sure how the video is going to go. If I, I, I don't know that I can do both on one channel because I know they have some strict guidelines. I might start another channel. Um, and then just post the link here from time to time so that you can go see what I'm doing over there. Um, my what's up Wednesday will still stay here and I will, you know, show what's on my desk. Won't go into a lot of detail cause it's going to be some stuff that's mixed for my own personal enjoyment. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and let me know if. I'm not going to do another channel if I'm not going to have any viewers. I did that with something else and I actually might go and just delete that whole channel and do something different. Um, but let me know if you would be interested in seeing stamping up videos. I know I will probably do my unboxing video on this channel. And if I do another channel, I'll do it on that one as well. But um, my initial unboxing, I'm going to show you what I got um, and go from there. Um, I don't think that I will, other than putting a link down in, you know, my information box, 
I don't know that I will try to sell Stampin' Up! from here. It's it's, it's going to just get too confusing for me. So, um, But I want to say I appreciate all of my new viewers that have signed up in the last couple of weeks. Thank you to all my long-term viewers, those of you that have been here from day one. Gosh, how many years ago? Six, seven years ago? I want to say it was 2015 when I started this channel. Still haven't hit a thousand, but not sweating it. This is a fun thing for me and a de-stressor, so I hope it is for you as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a disclaimer down at the bottom that after a certain point, I start rambling, so you don't have to watch if you don't want to. Um, thanks for your time. Hope everyone has a fabulous day. Enjoy the nice weather and be kind.